Easy Lori and Haki Fendral, Elaushin Fuk Fedask. We, by imperial decree, usher in a new era of wealth and prosperity for the free peoples of Tral. Remove your trade deal, City State One delegate. Else certain secrets will find their way into public knowledge. Feels like liberation today, eh? Honestly, I'm not thrilled about killing folks, but they didn't leave us any other options. Hate that it's come to this, but they forced our hand. In vale and in the axi axun shala, seen fine in ye. Torn art is ye? Fun. Trepnia, so they're torn art is ye fun. Ah, this team for seal and tot in the yafu. And the drill hit with. Move up, move up, move up! In Corinth! Nah, in here, Herr Hinter. Put those savages down! Don't let up! Get that gun going! Get that gun here! Get off our damn planet, savage! Nakur, Suncha! Rachnin! Traluda Tikoxis. We've seen in America! Ah! Hast du noch in den Nack? Wo sie hier? Und dieses ist Rorient. No, no! Das sind... Kornat in Kurve. Get some! Get some, you savage piece of shit! Come on! I'll bear you! Nin Halal. Is that it? Come on, give it to me! Come on! All in ya. Sorry, Paul. Things ya hill. Real yak son fan. Shoes in! Zola, move top! Damn it, the armor's too tough. Eve, everything's turned to shit. We gotta go. Bug out. Leave the truck. Boot out of here. Haul ass. Tinya Konia. Yes, you little. It's round three, and the Rebels have entered the game with shock, speed, and a lot of blood. The Rebels are a new faction, controlled by a team of our Patreon and channel members. I'll cover them at the end of this video. I only want to break the immersion for two minutes here so we can get right back to the game. I also need to explain what this is in case it's your first video. This is AOC Battlefields Versus. It's a war and politics game I designed for 118 scale action figures to play in my backyard. This is game one, where I have five players battling for control of the four neutral cities on the planet Thrall. Players raise armies using the in-game economy either by hijacking factories or making trade deals. They send agents to influence populations to their cause or assassinate rivals. They form alliances or conquer their foes and hear the lamentations of their women. Go check out the first videos for rounds one and two and please share. If you could do anything to help this game out, it's to share this video. Not enough people know about it and I'm getting comments every day like, oh wow, I never heard of this. Please spread the word. If you could just share this link to a Facebook group or your IG story or print the tiny little strips of paper and sneak them into the pockets of random people you stalk at Walmart at 2 a.m. I'm not judging. People need hobbies. These videos need more views. Syndicate leader Lucius the Hound deployed a sabotage factory to City One. Man, I hate doing this to wrong people, but we gotta slow these off-worlders down. The infiltration teams that had ambushed the Zalorians had been commanded by two cutthroats, the Skull and Thressel. 
These teams are able to infiltrate City State 1 because of the efforts of the cell leader Defongs. Cell leaders are critical for influencing the local populations to the rebels' cause. The problem with success, even a minor one, is that it attracts attention. The Valen peacemongers were desperate for another factory, and the rebels happened to get in their way. Actual, this is Slickback 1. Uh, need some guidance? Go ahead, Slickback, what you need. Hey, I, I need a call here. Are these guys legal targets or what? Yeah, stand by. All right, be advised, slick back. Any combatants are legal targets. Do they look combative? I mean, it's just a bunch of dudes parked outside. Okay, understand that hostiles have a combative stance. You are free to engage. Yeah, I mean, they're outside in a truck. Roger, you are authorized to defend yourself. Yeah, okay, whatever, man. Weapons high. <laughs> Trucks destroyed, lane tag one of them. I gotta circle back around. This, this is impressive. The heft of this thing, seriously. It's like I'm holding a baby. A delicious meat and cheese wrapped baby, but still, the girth is, well, it's majestic. Vax, you're unimpressed with your offer, delegate. You're asking us to abandon our outpost. Mm. Mm -hmm. And relocate to a disadvantageous position. There is no benefit for us. Sure there is. The benefit being that you survive. This is untenable. Wait, wait a minute. Something's not right. Valen, Mr. Truck, I've got this one. You take the partner. Acknowledge. Valen will die from your decision today. Oh my god. They didn't put oil on this. Oh, that ain't good. Buffalo One, you okay? Inja's dead, but I'm alright. You are taking this seriously. This isn't a game, Galio. There's nothing I take more seriously than the food service accuracy. I paid extra for the oil, for God's sake. Damn. Clown. Target sick. Payback in route. People are going to die. No. Someone might get fired over it, but let's not be dramatic. It's a mistake. Things happen. Damn. All right, that was close. Look, this is the best offer we can give you. You've got no industry, no supporters, no personality whatsoever. Uh, just do what makes sense and uh, move. But over there or anywhere, it, it, it does not matter. Just be someone else's problem, okay? Buffalo 2, stop jaw jack and push a dose. <laughs> oh, wait. We will not bend to your veil. Rats. We weren't hiding the fact that we want you dead. It was kind of our whole pitch, actually. Then consider your trade deal with City One cancelled. We'll be blocking it at the next summit. Oh, come on, that's a move, even for an Axie. The Seventh Sons faction leader, Minister Tama, committed her elite paladins to seize the Citadel. If this assault failed, their offensive would be exhausted. A Xi'an 19 IFV raced across the battlefield and dumped its quad cannons fire onto the walls. Hassan! 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 Nakul! Simchan! Dralik Sintu! Han! 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 They're coming over the walls! Uh, make them pay! It's just the last thing we do! Uh, Inan Truk! Uh, Indela! Asal Corbin, hold him to die! Gendry, Vin Sukorgen, and McDonough. Hadunin Kral, Sodranajix Havelinkutit, Navis Bodun, Inak. And so, the Citadel fell underneath Zalorian control. After the firefight with the infiltrators against the Brute Squad in City 1, the Zalorians recognized the power of the rebels. They dispatched their financier, Agent Tsoi, to attempt to bribe the rebel cutthroat, the Skull. Fine hardware, no doubt, but my loyalty is not for sale today. Not after what you did to the Citadel. To the north, the Valen Imperials began to mobilize. You had command! You got your orders! Move, move, move! Jonesy, I heard your R&R &R was approved. That's awesome. 
Yeah, guys. The CEO said I just had to do this one mission, and then I could head back home. I don't like where that's going. Hey, and on your birthday, too. That's great. Oof. Yeah, my wife's gonna be thrilled. Yeah, this is definitely gonna go bad. All right, goons, mount up! Corporal Jonesy, don't worry. It's just gonna be a milk run. We'll be in and out. No, oh, that's not good. So you can make it home to see the birth of your new son. Oh my god, why? Control to Delta Sierra One. We're picking up a strange energy signature to your east. What's your situation? Looks like a Zolo fighter on approach. I'm hailing. Zolorian fighter, this is Valen Craft Delta Sierra One. We're conducting a drop off operation near your territory. Command, I have no response for the. They just locked onto us! Pardon the detour, LT. Command needs to see you immediately. We lost contact with Delta Sierra 1. No sign of any survivors from Alpha Squad and all beacons are flatlining. That's only the end of round three for game one. And if you're still listening at this point, that means you're back crazy insane, my kind of people. Make sure you hit like. I really want these videos to be able to track on this channel. This is the direction the channel is going. So continued engagement really helps promote it, which encourages me to do more of these. And here's some more bonus content about me explaining the Rebels and maybe some of the factions. Thanks. First off, big thanks to Famine Studios, Brian from Outer Multiverse, and Adam from uh, The Lead Will Walk the Earth. It's really hard with a large cast to come up with a variety of voices without being just absolute cartooners. So, so having them provide those added so much depth the video and if you think you want to contribute to just reach out to me uh, i always need some more sound bites or different voices to add especially female characters uh, it is a lot of work to pile this together and throw them in so i i kind of am hesitant to pile on too much but i do want to make this as collaborative as possible the rebels so i introduce a new faction uh mid game which is always fun for players to have to react to I'm joking, that's horrible. Uh, but these are from our great Patreon and channel members. Essentially, the Rebels are a unique asymmetric faction because they don't need cities or they don't need factories in order to produce. They actually just need to raise influence in people. So as the Rebels, just like any insurgency, go into the cities, they raise support and therefore they're able to recruit. So this is the first turn they were able to come out and they came out swinging. This is just a beta test in order to try out a really asymmetric faction. And unfortunately, the characters are aligned to one player each, which does help cut down the workload for the players. But some of the characters are a little more passive and I'm afraid that might be boring for the players. So we're trying to change it up. And again, you'll see the Rebels sort of evolve, the rule set evolve as we get more iterations on it. You're gonna see in round four that the Rebels start stepping up their game. They've gained a lot more influence in some of the cities. They take bigger moves, they're able to push more forces out there. Their agents are sprawling around, but the players are also starting to target Target them and realize that they need to knock down those agents in order to cripple the rebel faction. Somebody get me a damn coffee! 